Today's August 31st, 2022, and I'm about to take you through the Hunter 41 AF Cockpit 2004 Dauntless. Overall, the boat's in good shape. It's clean. Starting from the foredeck, got a windlass that's been replaced. Looks like probably about 20 feet of chain and another 150 feet of uh, road. Which switches for the windlass. Anchor roller with a Bruce anchor. Come up at the rig. It's a B and R rig. Approximately uh, 63 feet height. Standing rigging looks good, at least from the deck. Most of the running rigging looks pretty good. Canvas is in excellent shape. It's about a year old. Dodger is nice and clear. Fabric's all in good condition. The Selden in mast furling system. The beam on this boat is carried well aft, so you get a nice beamy big cockpit. And there are uh, some really nice cushions that go in the cockpit as well as uh, for these perch seats. These perch seats are doubles. And of course you have the uh, transom that opens up and folds down for access to your swim platform. And there's a swim ladder down there. You've got an arch with your traveler controls. The traveler is mounted on top of the arch. Here's the helm. Got a multifunction display with radar, a blow decks autopilot, wind, speed, and depth, and a compass. In the cockpit locker, this is where we've got our generator. And just a ton of storage. More storage under here. On the starboard side, as well as the escape hatch for the aft stateroom on the starboard side. Nice cockpit table. And I really love this. You've got factory opening doors, no slats to deal with. Really good visibility from the helm. Excellent visibility. Walking down the main companionway, some gradual stairs. Take you directly into the galley. It's a navigation station. It's 
to your uh, AC controls, your DC controls, your charger controller as well. I believe this does has, have an inverter as well. Uh, your uh, tank monitor and VHF. Nice big settee with dinette. And you've got this uh, cushion love seat over here. And it does have storage inside. It slides out. Take you into the galley. This boat is fully air conditioned. This owner has removed the propane range. He's replaced it with the refrigerator and then opened up some more storage where the old refrigerator used to be. He does have a generator, so he uses uh, a combination of different cooking methods. He's got a, a hot plate as well as a couple other electric items to cook with. This is a dish drying area with a fan. Got a freezer down here, lots of storage, and a trap door for your trash, and access from the side as well. All the lights are on switches right as you walk into the boat. And you've got a nice food storage pantry. You don't see that very often on monohulls. Microwave. There are some areas of the vinyl headliner, which is just looking a little bit cracked here and there. It's cosmetic. In the salon, we do have some areas of headliner that are also starting to look worn and a little bit cracked. Vinyl should be pretty easy to replace. It's basically just one section of vinyl that uh, starts here and goes forward. Everything else is looking good, at least in the salon. All the overhead hatches have lockouts. Here's your day head with electric head and a separate shower stall. Master stateroom is aft on this boat. This is a queen size berth. We've got some filler cushions uh, for the uh, the dinette to convert it into uh, a sleeping area as well as a little makeup area here with nice lighting the Ford state room is also quite large it's a Pullman berth on the port side and another head forward. Here's all your extra cushions for the cockpit. Got storage underneath the berth here, as well as the sink, Corian counters, a mirror, and your forward head, which will also be your shower on this boat. You got two showers, a fold down seat made out of teak, and then uh, this is just storage for your shower. This day room does have some areas of the vinyl headliner which are looking a little cracked in some places. Again, they're just sections of vinyl that you can remove and replace. 
shouldn't be too hard of a job. Walking aft. Bilge access for your holding tank. Batteries are located under the helm seat. Water tank storage. Access to the main bilge directly underneath the, the dinette. The engine is act accessed underneath the uh, companionway stairs that just slide out of the way. Uh, looks pretty good.